Hi, folks, everyone. Uh, this is Monty Taylor. So sorry to be starting a few minutes late. Would uh, one or two of you just send us a quick note if you're seeing uh, my picture here? Just say, let, let us know that you're seeing the picture. Just a quick in the chat. I see Willie there and Lorette and Greta and uh, Lorette again. If you just send me a quick note letting us know that you see the uh, you see my picture there on this broadcast. Anybody? Want to make sure that you're seeing. Once again, folks, my apologies for starting a few minutes late. We were having some problem actually seeing the attendees. and It looked like we didn't have any, and we, we had uh, uh, well over 100 registers. So uh, I'm getting a yes and a yes from Greta and Cindy and so forth. So it says she, see, she sees my picture. Once again, everybody, welcome. Uh, this is Monty Taylor along with my co-host, Alex Tice, who in just a moment is going to be showing his screen. Uh, Alex, if you're ready to do that, why don't you go ahead and bring up the welcome. Go over there to the screen share and bring up the welcome. And uh, I should see it. And we're going to get started. And I want to tell you what's going to happen. By the way, this is the social media strategies for network marketers, uh, Alex Tice and Monty Taylor. And I want to tell you very briefly, uh, we plan on this webinar to be right in the neighborhood of about 45 minutes, perhaps a little tighter than that. We're going to move along quickly. But who is this webinar for? Alex, uh, I'm going to see if we can see your screen. Uh, let me just make sure. Yep, I see it. Would you give us a uh, someone in, uh, in the in the audience, uh, please let us know if you can see Alex's screen, social media strategies for network marketers. We want to make 100% sure you see that. Someone just say yes if you see social media strategies for network marketers. Anybody? Okay. Glad to see and hear you, it says. Who is this webinar for? Next slide, Alex. This webinar is for direct sellers and network marketers. And I'm going to say that the, the truth is that even if you came on this webinar and you say, well, I'm not a direct seller and a network marketer, the truth is we're going to, we're going to be teaching some portable skills. And what I mean by that is that they work really for anyone. So you may want to stay if, if for some reason you came into the webinar and you say, hey, I'm not a direct seller. I still think you're going to get lots of value. You decide for yourself. This is for anyone who wants more quality prospects. Any direct seller that understands we're all in the relationship building business, anyone who's willing to do the work, you're in the right place. And also, a direct sellers that realize social media is a supportive strategy. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of stuff out there right now. Uh, Alex and I don't believe it for a minute. It's, you can now build your entire business just using social media. We don't believe that. We think it's a tremendous supportive strategy, but great prospectors are using all kinds of different ways to prospect, and we'll talk about that. So who's this webinar not for? This is for those people who want just the easy button. They think you can press a button and everything happens. It's not for you. Uh, if you're looking for quantity rather than quality, you're in the wrong place. That's not what we're going to teach today. And anyone who believes in unicorns, and if you threw enough uh, shiitake mushrooms at the wall, something will stick. This is not the webinar for you. We're going to teach real skills here, and we think you're going to get a tremendous amount of value out of it. So let me uh, tell you very quickly what we're going to cover today. We're going to cover strategies, some apps and tools, some practical applications, mistakes to avoid, uh, a quick master prospecting model you'll want to know about. And we've got some resources. If you'll stay till the end of the webinar, actually throughout it, we're going to give you some free resources we believe that you'll really enjoy. Uh, we've spent some time putting together. We think you'll enjoy them. So that's what's, what we're going to cover. Let's get started. Let me introduce you to my co-host and friend, Alex Tice. And Alex is a best-selling author. He has a book out right now. It's a bestseller. In its category, it's the number one bestseller called Stop Pitching and Start Connecting. Uh, 
social media strategies for network marketing and direct sales. And you should know that Alex has an extensive background in direct selling that goes back almost two decades. He's been in the field. He has been in corporate with some amazing companies. And he's currently working with several companies on their corporate marketing strategies, including customer retention and social media. He's doing it right now. And he is just absolutely a great guy. And I'll tell you, maybe he'll tell you the story later, but we met last year on Twitter. So we've become good friends. I can tell you he's a great speaker, a great consultant, a great guy who loves helping people. So everyone, let me welcome Alex Tice. Alex, welcome. Well, thanks, Monty, for that uh, warm introduction. And I want to jump right into it today. I'm a firm believer, as you know, Monty, in practical application. I love inspiration, but I like it when it leads to action. And we want to help you today. If you can just take one thing away from today and apply it to your network marketing business, that's a victory. And social media is sometimes a mystery to people. And as I'm popping up here, the the overarching strategy, what I'm going to talk about, if you can just take one thing away, is forget about selling, forget about pitching, and just use social media to connect. As Monty said, it's, it's social media is a supportive strategy. It's a support or a supplement to your prospecting and marketing. It does not take the place of anything else. It is in addition to, and I believe social media can foster in-person relationships, high quality relationships. You can also meet people on social media that you've met in person and take that relationship to the next level, no matter where you're at in the world. And here's the big thing. Most of those relationships won't be business relationships. Okay. They won't be someone that joins your team or your downline or your next big leader. These are just going to be high quality relationships, but some of them will join your team. And as you build your credibility and build relationships or in that relationship business, some of those people will say, Hey, wait a second. We're of like mind. We're both thought leaders. I love what you're up to. I love what you share online through social media. I love what you're up to. What, how can we work together? And then you have a solution. Or maybe they say, hey, listen, I'm looking for another stream of income. I'm looking to get healthy, whatever your products are. That's when this business becomes fun, when it becomes easy, when someone says, hey, I want to do what you do. I want to join up with you. So there's a misnomer out there that there is an easy button. There's a lot of webinars and books and programs. And I believe people are preying on weakness. A lot of us out there who aren't social media savvy, and I was once there before I really got into it and learned how to use it and learn this, this strategy of start, stop pitching and start connecting. But there's these webinars and books and programs and trainings that prey on people who think i don't know much about social media but wait a second everybody's making money on social media it's a it's a cash register it's an atm it's not be wary of that kind of training it, it goes back to the 80s when you people said well you can just place newspaper ads and sit at home and do nothing and make money uh, there's been phone scams i believe when people put up a webinar saying hey you can just make money with social media you don't need to leave the house that is just not correct. So there's no easy button. We're going to give you practical application. A couple other points on this overarching strategy. There's a few groups out there and you might fall into one of them. You're either not using social media to promote your business or to talk about what you're up to, or you're not using it effectively to promote yourself, build credibility, articulate your body of work and make yourself look good. Like a thought leader, make yourself a thought leader, connect with people. You're not using it for that or you get excited about an opportunity and i've seen this a lot recently you get excited about an opportunity and you've probably seen this with other people and every other post if not every post is try their product look what my product does look what my company does here's my links it's overkill they they went from posting once or twice a day if that on facebook to five to six to seven times a day. And 90% and of those are about their product, opportunity, cash, side business. Uh, they chase their friends away and then they get discouraged and they disappear. So we're in this for the long haul. I want you to think about social media, stop pitching and stop, start connecting. It's a marathon approach. So let's dive into some drop dead, easy strategies that you can apply right away. And first thing is, the 90-10 rule. 
90% of your posts on social media, your pictures, your posts, whether it's Facebook, your tweets on Twitter, your pictures on Instagram, your posts on Pinterest, whatever platform you're using or platforms you're using, your blog posts, your podcasts, your YouTube videos, 90% of them should not be promoting or pitching your offer or product. They should be adding value to people. They should be entertaining people, educating people, giving away your expertise, helping people, like I said, entertaining people, giving people high quality links that they can check out, giving people tools they need to succeed. For people to look at you as that go-to source, they're gonna wanna see that you have information, knowledge that they don't have and that they wanna join up and they wanna get. And life becomes pretty fun when you can get paid for who you are and what you know as much as what you do. Let me just repeat that. When you can get paid for what you know, who you are, as much as what you do, that's when things become really fun, when people look at you as that thought leader. So the 90-10 rule, 90% of your posts should be family-oriented, educational, entertaining, high-value, giving away information, tips, experiences, stories, sharing life events, sharing quick quips about what's going on in your life or good things that are happening. And then 10% can be about your business opportunity, your products, your offer. But even in that 10%, my strong suggestion, I'll even say I will implore you to be very creative with that. Very few of your posts should just come out and say, hey, I'm using these great oils, join me. People look at that and now you force a decision. It's yes or no, most time it's going to be no. Instead, get creative with the post. Talk about benefits. If you're talking about income, talk that you were able to pay off a credit card. Get some intrigue, creativity, some interest going. Don't just force it out there and say, hey, join me, join me, join me. Well, they either will or they won't, and most times they won't, and then they're gonna shut off to everything else you post about it. So you wanna make sure that 10%, you get really creative. So that's the 90-10 rule. Next, sticky headlines. And Monty, I know you're a, a big fan of this one, sticky headlines. In fact, um, you kind of took my understanding of headlines to the next level, and if have uh, given me some great information and uh, some of your expertise on sticky headlines but some basic rules to follow and let's talk about headlines really quick whether you're sending an email or a social media post it's kind of like a headline right a subject line you want to get intrigue you don't want to be tricky you don't want to trick people into reading things but you want to get some intrigue some interest you want to get people excited about it you want people to say huh why should I click on this and it should be instant it should draw people. So you want sticky headlines in your social media posts. Some things to follow. Lists are good. You know, here's the eight reasons to do this or eight ways to pay off credit card debt. Threats are good. Posts that help people gain and posts that have social proof. And I'm going to get into this just a little bit. So here's a couple of examples. Here's a list. Three ways to eliminate debt. A threat, the ugly truth about supplementation. Stop the diet roller coaster. That's a gain, even though it says stop, that's a gain post. So I just throw a few of these examples at you. I want to get your creative juices going. Here's a few others. Monty actually taught me this one. You have a desired result, then you say without, and then you add the pain. For example, Start a side business without any funding. So the desired result is people want a side business, a side income, without the challenge that typically comes. I don't have any money. I can't start a business. So start a side business without any funding. Get a stream of income without any additional money, without any investment. So get creative with your headlines. One thing I've done, and I know Monty's done this as well, that's really helped us is simply subscribe to other people's emails. Follow people on Twitter. Take a look at what other people that maybe you look up to are doing on Facebook. What are they posting? What are their sticky headlines? Never steal or plagiarize, but 
take a look at what they're writing and adapt it to yours repurpose it get that creative uh, instinct going just learn from others it's one of the best things you can do when you don't have any ideas or you think Alex I, I couldn't write my own headlines I can't write something catchy in just a few words you can and just take some time to absorb what others are doing subscribe to some things and pay attention to what you like pay attention to what gets you to click on something to click on a link or to take a look at something closer and Monty we're gonna give everybody a, a headline swipe file what is a headline swipe file and this is going to be available to everybody watching I believe uh, Monty how can they grab that on their on the right side of their screen yep I've got it up right now I'm uh, I'm tracking you just keep going you're perfect thank you beautiful so a headline swipe file this is actually I believe a 342 headline file that you can fill in the blanks you're gonna read this file everybody on here should should download this it came from Amazon download it and you're going to get 5, 10, 20 headlines into this and say, okay, got it. Now I know what you mean, Alex. I know what you mean, Monty. These headlines, now they're making sense. I know what to do. And you're going to put your own creative spin on it and it's going to be awesome. You're going to be a great headline writer. I believe everybody can write good tweets, good posts, good headlines, good little uh, captions for their photos that get people interested in what you have to offer. So definitely download that headline swipe file. Next, I want to talk about apps. And I think all of us have smartphones. If you don't, there's your first step. Uh, if you've been resisting for some reason out there, you've got to, and I'm sorry about the background noise there, um, you've got to have apps on your phone. It is imperative that you get that smartphone and get these apps. And it seems, Sorry about that. It seems uh, obvious, but I know a lot of people that don't have the Facebook app on their phone, the Twitter app on the phone, or the Instagram app on their phone. So whichever of these that you use, make sure you have that app on your phone. And it's not just for reading it on your phone. It's for being able to post anywhere. When you get a good idea, if you're like me, Good ideas come when you're out and about, and what do you do with it? I forget to write it down. I don't have my computer with me. If I have my phone, I can either type a note to myself, or if I open these apps, I can post right away. The other thing you can do is if you're in line, if you're in somewhere where you need to kill a little time, you can connect with people on Twitter. And then the Instagram app is great because it really operates straight from the app you take the picture, it goes right to Instagram. So I know this is simple, but it's super important that you have the applications for each of the social media tools, whether it's Hootsuite, which we'll get into here in a minute, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media platforms you're using, make sure you're using the apps on your smartphone. Okay, killer tools. Here's what I've run into, especially with Twitter, and just about all of these work exceptionally well for Twitter. Most people see Twitter as a mystery, and Monty and I can do some further education on Twitter in the future, but definitely want to check out my books, stop pitching and start connecting. A good bulk of the book, maybe a third of the book, is about how to use Twitter effectively. Uh, Monty will take a quick uh, pause right here. Tell, maybe just give us a minute of your Twitter experience. You're fairly new to it. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, I'll tell everyone, honestly, I couldn't see uh, one darn reason to do it, even though I be, uh, finally got a Twitter account last summer. And I think as I closed the year, maybe I had 40 or 50 followers, read some books, uh, just thought what the recommendations were were, were crazy. And uh, Alex and I met on Twitter, uh, th actually through a third party, and Alex coached me just on Twitter. We, we coached each other on some things. And I am uh, uh, started in January with his coaching following his methods, and, and I'm just approaching 8,000 followers. And I don't buy followers. It's organic followers, very high-quality followers, uh, actually some that uh, it, it amazes me that they're following me. And I'm using Alex's strategy. So literally from uh, almost zero to uh, coming up on 8,000, and I know that's not many, 
I'm nothing like Kim Kardashian, but uh, anyway, I'm having a lot of fun, and it's an easy strategy, a couple hours a week, and almost 8,000 followers. So thanks, Alex. Appreciate it. Yeah, the thing with Twitter is you just got to get in there and use it and experience it. Follow a few people. Uh, avoid the celebrities and the musicians. Uh, I think a lot of people believe Twitter is just for celebrity gossip and, and news, and it is great for news. It's one of the world's uh, quickest news outlets. It's where you can get a lot of news. But for connecting, uh, there's I believe there's no better social media site for meeting new like-minded people. So, so, so a lot of these tools will work with Facebook but they'll also work extremely well with Twitter. So there's my, my Twitter advertising, but I'll just run through these really quick. And by the way, Monty, 8,000 is uh, quite impressive for your time on, on Twitter. It's uh, I wouldn't discount that at all. You're doing exceptionally well. Uh, it's just a matter of time before uh, some high quality prospects are gonna come from that. Uh, so Hootsuite, Hootsuite allows you to schedule Facebook posts. It allows you to schedule Twitter posts. Well, Alex, isn't that a little disingenuous? What do you mean I can schedule? It means it, it posts without me? Yes. Here's the beauty of that. People are on social media all day. They're not on your schedule. You're the only one on your schedule. So with Hootsuite, you can post at regular times. You can look at analytics and say, well, a lot of my Facebook followers, Facebook friends, or, or Twitter followers are on on Wednesday afternoons, maybe you're busy. This allows you to post something critical or post updates during that time or a weekend, or as Monty and I have both experienced, while you're sleeping. You know, a lot of people who might be interested in what you have to offer and interested in meeting you might be in another country or might be on a different shift entirely. This allows me to post at two in the morning and, and get followers in, in other countries, other continents. So Hootsuite, can't live without it. Uh, great for uh, scheduling all your posts. Tweet Jukebox is something that is new to me and Monty. It's a pretty new site. Uh, and Monty has really uh, taken, and maybe you can just give a 20 second commercial for Tweet Jukebox, Monty. Yeah, that's a, a, a great team has developed that. Uh, Tim Fargo, the fa he's, a, he's a famous author. There's no charge for it. He says uh, that he doesn't plan on ever charging for it. And it's just like a jukebox. You can literally schedule your, create a jukebox of tweets and offers and plan them. And it's just that jukebox is literally playing your tweets on any schedule you set, every 10 minutes, every 29 minutes, whatever you want throughout the day, slowing down the weekend. So I absolutely love it. It's probably saved me 70% of my Twitter time. Of course, you have to put good tweets into it. You've got to do the input. But boy, do I love that app. Fantastic. PicMonkey is a site, and you can just go to PicMonkey.com, that allows you to manipulate pictures, change them, crop them, uh, edit them, allows you to put words on pictures. So you see this on Facebook, you see this on Instagram, you see this on Twitter, you see it on Pinterest where people take a, a nice picture and they'll put a quote on it, they'll put their own quote, they'll put their information, they'll put a saying on there. PicMonkey allows you to do all that and it's 100% free. So definitely check out PicMonkey. Twine Machine and Just Unfollow are both for Twitter. So if you're not a Twitter user yet, you want to write those down because you're going to want to use those once you start using Twitter. But if you are a Twitter user, Twine Machine allows you to go back and look at past tweets. It allows you to easily co copy and paste past tweets and reschedule them through Hootsuite. So Twine Machine, uh, I love looking at past tweets to go back several months and see what I posted because I know I got some retweets and I want to repost material, which is just fine. And then just unfollow allows you to manage your followers in a way that Twitter, the actual site, doesn't allow you to. You go on to just unfollow. You can see who's unfollowed you. You can see who you're following that might not be following you back. You can see who who isn't follow who you aren't following back. They're following you, but you you didn't follow them back. I've caught a lot of people there. It's like, whoa, I should be following this person. How did I miss that? So that's just unfollow.com. So killer tools, there's a lot of other tools. I probably showed you 1% of the great tools that are out there. Social media can be made very easy when you use the right tools. All right, one of my favorites, you got to give away the goods. By giving away value, you're going to build credibility. 
giving away value could be quotes, could be tips, but when by doing this, you're going to articulate your expertise. When you post a great quote, people associate that type of thought and thinking with you. When you post great tips, for example, I post speaking tips and sales tips. Now, these are mine. They're based on my expertise, but it allows people to see my expertise, see what I specialize in, see my passions, which will attract like-minded people. And you know in your network marketing business, you want like-minded people. And instead of selling, educate and help. Don't be afraid to give away your best tips, your best education, your, your best material. This is just going to draw people to you. And I think the best example I can give of somebody giving away their best absolutely free is Google, right? It's, it's one of the, the biggest, if not the biggest website in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world. And it's all based on giving people great value. Become the, the go-to source. We talked about this at the beginning. When people see you as the go-to source, they want to associate with you. They want more of what you have to offer. That's when network marketing gets fun, when people approach you and you don't have to approach them. And this is a big one. Be seen as a thought leader. When you give away your best material, when you educate people, when you give people tips, when you give something, some of your expertise they couldn't get anywhere else, they look at you as that thought leader and they want to be associated with you. And Alex, I uh, interrupt real quickly. I've been showing and giving away your, you have a six page uh, free report. You put a lot of time into it. And I'm giving it away as you're talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, just so you know. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. <laughs> so I just want to reinforce that it's all about the connection. Social media should be a supplement to what you have to offer. And what Monty just said, the lead magnet. So everything we're covering and then some uh, is in this, uh, this, this book, that this quick six-page ebook that you can literally read and keep in front of you, in front of your laptop, in front of your phone, in front of your computer, and jump on social media. Literally has, has some tips that you can apply today. You will read it in about 15 minutes. And I guarantee you it'll have at least one tip that'll completely change the way you look at social media for the better and help you meet more people. So that's available right now. You want to download that absolutely free. And I have actually something special, uh, Monty, uh, that you didn't even know about. Anybody that downloads that uh, Drop Dead Easy Strategies quick six-page ebook from this webinar, whether they're watching it today or they watch the recorded version, Anybody who downloads it will get the inside scoop on the next day I'm going to give away this book. Stop Pitching, Start Connecting. I'm going to give away this book to your uh, subscribers as a gift. And I know I might be cutting my nose off here to spite my face if you were going to go buy it today. I would still encourage you to buy it. But in the next two to three weeks, I'm going to be giving this book away for free, the Kindle version. So if you have a Kindle and you'd like to get it for free by getting this six-page ebook that's available for free on the right you'll be on the list i will notify you the next time this kindle book is available for free you'll download it absolutely free uh, the printed version i believe is over 230 pages so it's it's packed with material it's a reference guide for you and your social media prowess okay lastly monty let's uh before we jump into some some real uh hardcore uh prospecting application from you that people are going to be able to, to use Mistakes people are making on social media. Posting too much on Facebook. If you're posting more than three times a day on Facebook, all the experts will tell you this. Three times a day, if you're posting more than that, it's too much. Now, there could be that one day when you're at your, your child's basketball tournament and you're posting pictures all day. An exception is okay. But if you're posting more than three times a day average on Facebook, that is too much. People are going to ignore you. And there's ways on Facebook to ignore people in, in your feed or see less of them without you ever knowing about it. And you want to avoid that at all costs. Remember, we want to connect with people. Not using images is a mistake. I've made this mistake. Monty is great at using images. You want to use images as much as you can within reason. Not all your posts obviously have to have an image. but Use images because people are attracted to them. Books with pictures seem shorter, so people read them quicker and they're more likely to finish the book 
with pictures. It, it's our inner child that, uh, that went back to, we, we loved picture books as child, uh, uh, children. Adults love pictures as well, so make sure you're using images that catches people's eye. A lot of people don't like to read, so when there's an image, it'll draw them in to be able to read your post. Some no-nos. Posting links on other people's posts. When somebody posts about, hey, you know, I've been having migraines lately, and you go into that post and you post a link to your replicating website to buy your uh, vitamin product or your health product or whatever it is, or your lotion or oil, that's a no-no. You don't ever want to post links to what you have to offer on other people's posts. That drives people crazy and makes people say, oh, you're one of those people. We definitely don't want that. Couple other no no stealing or plagiarizing. Repurposing is great. Learning from others is awesome, but you never want to steal or plagiarize. You never want to be divisive. Listen, I understand if you have religious beliefs, political beliefs, that's great. You want to stick to your guns and your morals, great. But do not be divisive on social media. It is not a place to post your deep spiritual divisive uh, remarks or political remarks political issues that divide people, I don't believe social media is the place to discuss those if you are in business because some portion of those people are going to see that and they're going to say, oh, I didn't know that you didn't, that, that you didn't believe in X, whatever that is, and they're going to stay away from you and they're not going to have anything to do with you. So never want to be divisive or post anything uh, that's divisive. And you know, I, again, I get morals, but it's back to the old adage, preach often but speak only when necessary. So let your actions uh, show people what you're all about, not your social media posts when it comes to being divisive. And then lastly, I'm a firm believer in this. Uh, as you know, Monty, you have a great blog, but if you don't have a blog, a podcast, or a YouTube channel, you don't need all three. You only need one of these to start. If you don't have a written blog, an audio podcast, or a YouTube channel, or some combination, it's a big mistake because you're missing out hitting people and uh, out there, giving them something more, to uh, more of you, more of your thoughts, more of your expertise. So make it a point today. Take away. Connect. Don't pitch. Take a marathon approach. Use the tools and apps that are available to you. Watch these mistakes and get a blog, Get a start a podcast or start a YouTube channel so you can start giving away your best, giving away the goods, and connecting with more people. All right, Monty, so let's dive into some hardcore, uh, super valuable, I can't believe you're giving this on a free webinar, master prospecting uh, tips here and, and understanding the master prospecting model. So Monty Taylor, who's my co-host here, uh, I met him, oh, at some point last year, we connected on Twitter. We, we understood all of a sudden that we had uh, many, many mutual friends, both inside our industry and out. Uh, we were like-minded. I was able to help him with some social media. He was uh, instrumental in helping me do some book promotion and create some other online tools. Uh, he's been a friend. He's been a peer, and he's been a mentor. And this is just the beginning of some of the projects we're working on. Uh, I'm there's many times I've gotten off a. a Jumped off a call with Monty, and I think, why? How? What did I do to deserve uh, this this mentoring and friendship for Monty? So, uh, definitely want to share my gratitude for Monty, and he's an expert in the network marketing, consulting, coaching industry. He's been the CEO of some major corporations. He's consulted with some of the biggest network marketing companies in the world. He continues to coach to coach clients across the board on creating leads, on prospecting, on creating tools. He's still a consultant with major companies. And on top of all that, he's an exceptional network marketing leader. So, Monty, I turn it over to you and just want to share the gratitude with you. Alex, I appreciate it. That was so great. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and, folks, we're right on time. Uh, Alex, I appreciate the, the introduction and your kindness. It's just been great uh, connecting on Twitter. I love pe uh, telling people that, and uh, I, I, con I consider you a, a treasured friend and peer, so thank you so much. Um, if you go to the next slide, folks, I want to share just really just three or four slides that I really think could make a difference for you. And this slide here, certainly you can see the elephant in the room, and I want to tell you that after almost 28 years of coaching clients, uh, executives, uh, some in network marketing, some not, but I've coached 
literally hundreds, I don't know if it's been thousands of executives, but I've coached thousands of network marketers. And one of the things that I run into again and again when coaching is this belief system that some folks have that there's something wrong with salespeople or something wrong with selling. And I'm gonna, I just want to tell you right away, I have a huge belief and I coach it. I can't make you believe this. I can only share it with you. It'll have to become yours. But here's what I believe, and that is that if you want to be successful on, in our industry, learn that everybody sells and everybody recruits. And Alex, if you'll go to the next slide, I think this is a great example. I mean, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, universities, Navy, Marines, Air Force, businesses, churches, theater, orchestras, politicians, parents, dating sites, American Idol, movie producers. Folks, if you're a parent, uh, you absolutely recruit and you sell and you recruit to your children and the reason I talk about this just very briefly is that it's so important if to realize that to be successful in our industry this is part of it and if you want to get really great at it then be committed to being a better communicator a better selling person and a better prospecting a better a master prospector and that's the next slide we're going to talk about just for a moment if we could this particular slide, uh, Alex, if you'll hit the first three, connect, qualify, and invite. And that is, folks, if you look, this is really a pyramid. And I want you to understand, I can't teach you on this particular webinar, Master Prospecting, but I would love to open up your mind and your, your thoughts and, con and consider the, the possibility of investing a couple of hours over the next few weeks to take you into Master Prospecting. And, and prospecting is not just one thing, it's really seven or eight communication attributes that you need to learn. And isn't it interesting that at the bottom of this pyramid, the base of this pyramid, and here's the seven, connect, qualify, invite, introduce, manage objections, close to action, and follow up and launch. This is everything that goes into prospecting. But isn't it interesting that the connecting part of it is at the base of the pyramid? And it's so important what Alex was teaching you in his book. What caught my attention is the most important thing about prospecting is not your pitch. It's not your deal. It's not your products. It's not your, uh, your handling objections. 80% of this is connecting. And Alex, if you'd go to the next, if you would, just to give you an idea, connecting is all about building the relationship. And we are in the relationship business, folks. And that's where you want to learn to get really good at building relationships. And then... You can also use social media uh, to qualify people. And that's what is qualifying. That is really determining people's needs. And I'll give you a couple of ideas on that and mostly some resources that you can go to. But you can use social media to determine people's needs, to find out what's going on in their life. And over time, as you build that relationship, they'll tell you some of the things that are going on in terms of their health or whether they're, they, have, they just don't have enough time or whether they have a project they're, they're building an income stream or a project for uh, putting their kids through college or all kinds of things. And that's how you determine the need. And social media is absolutely perfect for that. Social media is also terrific for inviting people. And what I mean by that is taking the need that you determined over time, that you found out with someone, and turning that into an invitation and connecting are three things that are perfect for social media. Introducing, not so much. Managing objections, not so much. As Alex told you earlier, you want it after you've gone through connecting, qualifying, inviting. You know what I do? I take all my social media uh, connections offline when I do an introduction or I manage objections or I close to action or I follow up. All that's offline. Alex and I connected together. We qualified each other in terms of the kind of things that he needed or I needed and I could use for my business. And uh, we got to the invitation phase, which was, hey, why don't we connect by phone? And we took it from there. So I just wanted to use this model for a moment to help you understand that there's so much more underneath prospecting. And if we can go to the next slide, Alex. Let me give you some recommendations as we're coming to a close here. Uh, number one recommendation is I, I want to recommend to you, if you want to be a master prospector, that you build an avatar. And this will only take you 15 to 20 minutes. And what I mean by that is build an avatar. That's a picture, if you will, of the kind of person 
or couple or people you're looking to bring into your business. It'll take you 15 to 20 minutes. I can tell you I know I know mine. I have built mine. My avatar is I'm looking for people that are coachable, that are energetic, that have an expressed need, whatever it is. In other words, they can articulate it to me, something they're looking for, whether it's better health, uh, more time, time freedom. Uh, they have some sort of an expressed need that I feel I can help them with. With Another part of my avatar, uh, after having that express need is I'm looking for people with character and what I mean by that is uh, they do what they say they're going to do, they show up on time, they listen to others and uh, I'm always looking for people that add energy to conversations and being with them, not people that suck the energy out of the room. Now that's my avatar, it doesn't have to be yours but I can tell when I'm prospecting what I'm looking for and it's that avatar right there and the number one on my list is coachable. If they're not coachable, I don't care if they have all the rest. It's a complete, utter waste of my time and their time. So let me recommend build an avatar for your business, the kind of customer, client, prospect that you're looking for, five or six or seven attributes. Be sure you're really clear on it. And if I called you and asked you, hey, Alex, what's your avatar? You could click it off right now and tell me. Number two, I'm going to recommend you create a 20 second sizzle message. This will take you 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, I, I have coached this and uh, this is something that I continually get asked to go back and teach people. I know some folks that are actually uh, taking my download and I, and I certainly was delighted that they did and using it in, uh, in webinars and using it in live presentations. And I've created a document that will teach you how to create your own sizzle message. And what I mean by that is this is when someone asks you what it is you do. You're sitting at a party. Uh, you, maybe you're talking on the phone. You're just meeting friends, what have you. You want to have a 20-second sizzle message that tells them what you do and invites them to ask you more. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing here because of time. Read this download. It's either a five or six page report. It'll teach you a beautiful method. And I have several myself that I use. For example, uh, if I'm at a party and, and uh, someone asks me what I do, I'll, I'll, I'll just give you one or two of mine real quickly so you know what I'm talking about. Someone says, so Monty, what do you do for a living? And I'll say, well, well, Bill, you know how there's millions of people out there that would love to own their own business and perhaps work for home and be their own boss and own their own time, but they're afraid to sell. They don't, they don't want to talk to family or strangers. So what I do is I'm an author and I'm a teacher and a coach and I teach people the amazing art of conversational selling. And I teach them a model of prospecting that's so simple, anybody can do it. Now that's just one of my sizzle messages. It's a little longer than 20 seconds. I have shorter ones. Uh, three or four or five. I won't go through all of those. It depends on my audience, but this will make a huge difference. You should be, as a master prospector, so comfortable when someone says, what is it you do? You should be able to answer that depending on the audience, and what you'll determine is if this is someone that's interested in having a conversation with you. So here's a free download, a download for you. Next recommendation. I'd recommend that if you're going to be a master prospector, Alex, if you go to the next bullet, uh, create your list of connecting, qualifying, inviting, and closing questions. I have all mine. I have them uh, memorized. The best way I know how to teach you how to do that, you can do this in an hour. My book, uh, 101 Scripts, which is actually misappropriately titled, it's 182 scripts, has connecting questions, qualifying questions, inviting questions. I spent over two years developing those. And you just need to learn a couple of connecting questions, a couple of qualifying questions. Let me give you an example of a connecting question. I, now, this wasn't on social media, but I was at a party about a week ago uh, and uh, just visiting with someone, and we connected. And after that, uh, I actually qualified them. I said, well, you know, tell me a little bit, what, what's going on in your life that you're really excited about? It's just a qualifying question. And this person started telling me things they were all excited about. In fact, they were just about to make a decision to get involved with the network marketing company. I said, gosh, tell me all about it. I want to hear all about it. And they weren't committed. And I said, so I invited the person. I said, you know, quick question. It sounds like you're taught, you haven't made up your mind. And if you have, that's great. But if you haven't made up your mind, would you be open if, to taking 10 minutes and let me give you a presentation on the particular company that I work? 
And the person said, absolutely. So we connected. I qualified by simply saying that, you know, what are you, what are you excited about? What projects are you working on in your life right now? She told me, and I made an invitation. And all of that took less than five minutes. You want to learn connecting, qualifying, inviting, and closing questions. We can't teach them all to you right now. This is a time investment, investment of perhaps an hour. And uh, we'll show you where you can get some of those at, at free or or at a very low cost. So next thing I'd recommend is you learn Avis. And I want to give this to you. Uh, let me bring it up here. Just take me a moment. What is Avis? Let me load this for you. There it is. Avis is a system. Alex actually invited me to teach this on one of his podcasts. Boy, he has an amazing podcast called Limitless, and I taught it on that podcast, so you could go learn it there. This is a quick little method you can learn in 30 to 45 minutes. It's portable, folks. Portable meaning it's not just for network marketing. It's for your friends. It's for uh, uh, clients. It's for your children. It's a little system called Avis. Acknowledge, validate, verify, isolate, and solve. You can learn this. It's so portable. It is so cool. And I don't care what somebody hits you with in terms of an objection. If you'll use that system, you can handle anything, almost anything. Do it coolly, calmly, collectively, and just lead them right where you want them to go. It's not manipulative. It's appropriate. I want you to have it. You can download it. Learn Avis. And folks, what we're, what Alex and I are really trying to say here as we close, one more rec recommendation is this is about social media, but learn to become a relationship engineer. And that's what social media is so much about, uh, learning these techniques and these strategies. We've already had some people sound in and say, can you teach us about Twitter? Well, you know what, folks? We will. We'll do a webinar just on Twitter and, and just on Facebook for you. But learn, be committed, invest over the next couple of weeks, three or four hours in becoming a better relationship engineer. It'll just pay off in spades. So last slide here, some resources for you, if you would. Uh, Alex's book, Stop Pitching, Start Connecting. He's giving that away free. He'll send you a message on that. Uh, steal this headline swipe file. We already gave that to you. Uh, top 10 social media tools for creating graphics for social media. We already shared that with you. The book, Objections Handled, 101 script. Folks, I only have it on Amazon for, I think, $4.79 for a, for a Kindle download. And it's free uh, five days out of every quarter. And I'll, I'll match Alex's author. If you're on my list, the next time it's about to be free, I'll send everybody a note. And you can download it for free. I'd love for you to have it. The book, Profit with Leads, is a system for uh, purchasing leads, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, by all means, please learn to become an objections handling ninja because it's so important in our industry. Uh, nine drop dead social e uh, media strategies. We, we gave you that offer earlier. You can download that. And uh, I'd like to close here. We went about uh, seven minutes over. Apologize for that. By just recommending that you go to Alex Tice's website, www.alextice.com. That's A L E X T H E I S.com. And subscribe to Alex. Tune into his uh, podcast. It's absolutely amazing. Most of the folks on this line may, may already subscribe to me. So if you don't, subscribe to MontyTaylor.com. And we just want to thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for, for giving your generous uh, time here and, and bringing people on the webinar. Let me tell you that uh, before we close, and Alex, I, I want you to be uh, to close if you would. Let me just say we are going to do a replay on this webinar, and it'll be available. You'll receive an email if you subscribed of a replay of this webinar. We do have several coming up we'd love you to tune into. So, Alex, let me turn it back to you if you'd close, and thanks again for uh, being so generous with your time today. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, talk to your subscribers. And I know we had a few people from my camp join this as well. So just I want to thank everybody for tuning into this. And I would ask if you got any value of this at all, even one tip that you tell a friend about it because the replay is going to come out and, and have them jump in. And again, uh, Monty, I'm just looking at all the tools we gave away today for free. Absolutely zero cost. All the things that will help you with social media and prospecting and help with your business. Uh, I don't think I've ever been associated with the webinar either. Uh, 
watching one or you know being being in the audience or delivering one and you and i collectively has probably done thousands upon thousands of these i don't think i've ever been a part of one that gave away so many great tools absolutely free so definitely everybody out there dive into those um, and you know monty and i are going to do some more webinars on social media prospecting including twitter probably a series on twitter if there's something you would like to see or you would like some personal training or training for your team, definitely get in contact with Monty. Uh, it's something we do separately and we do together so we can arrange that to help your team and you go to the next level with social media and your network marketing business and your online presence and platform. But uh, th to everybody out there, I just want to say thank you and especially to you, Monty. Thank you for having me today and uh, just love being able to impact lives. Thank you, Alex. We appreciate it, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We. Uh, Appreciate your time so much. We'll see you soon.